This video is about quick revision of anatomy muscles and nerve supply. I will be also covering few important points. All the materials used in this video are those materials which I used during my NEET preparation. Hope you like it. First of all, muscles of hand. I will be speaking important points only. It includes muscles of thinner eminence, hypothenar eminence, lumbricals and introsci. In thinner eminence, first three muscles are supplied by median nerve. An adductor pollicis is supplied by ulnar nerve. An adductor pollicis is also called graveyard of ulnar nerve because ulnar nerve ends in the adductor pollicis muscle. Then first three muscles of hypothenar eminence is supplied by deep branch of ulnar nerve and the palmaris brevis is supplied by superior branch of ulnar nerve and palmaris brevis is remnant of paniculus cornosus. Then coming to lumbricals. First and second lumbricals are unipendent muscles which is supplied by median nerve. Third and fourth are bipinnet muscles which are supplied by ulnar nerve. Then introsciae which are divided into dorsal and palmar. The dorsal ones are bipinnet and the palmar ones are unipinnet. All are supplied by ulnar nerve. So there are total 20 muscles out of which 15 are most supplied by ulnar nerve and 5 are supplied by median nerve. And one more point to remember is third metacarpal that is middle finger there is no insertion of palmar introsci. Then coming to forearm, it is divided into anterior or flexor compartment and posterior or extensor compartment. Anterior compartment consists of superficial muscles, intermediate muscles and deep muscle. First of all superficial muscles. All the muscles are supplied by median nerve except for flexor carpi ulnaris which is supplied by ulnar nerve. And also remember it is inserted into pisiform bone and action is flexion and adduction at the wrist joint. And pronator teres has two heads, ulnar head and humerus head. The median nerve passes between the two heads and ulnar artery passes deep to deep head that is ulnar head. Then in muscles of intermediate compartment there is flexor digitorum profundus which has two half, lateral half and medial half and medial half is supplied by ulnar nerve and lateral half is supplied by deep branch of median nerve. So it is example of composite or hybrid muscle. So in short remember all muscles of forearm are supplied by median nerve except flexor carpi ulnaris and medial half of the flexor digitorum profundus which is supplied by ulnar nerve. Posterior or extensor compartment. It consists of superficial and deep muscles. All the deep muscles are supplied by deep branch of radial nerve. And the first three muscles are borders of anatomical snuff box. And other important points are shown in the picture. Then coming to muscles of back, it consists of five muscles, out of which trapezius, rhomboidus major and minor are retractors of scapula and levator scapulae forms floor of posterior triangle of neck. You can refer nerve supply and other important points. Then coming to pectoral region, it consists of pectoris major and minor which are example of hybrid muscles. Then subscapularis, it stabilizes clavicle. Then coming to scapular region. It consists of six muscles, in which supraspinatus is considered as neglecting muscle and subscapularis is considered as forgotten muscle. And subscapularis is example of hybrid muscle because supplied by both upper and lower subscapular nerve. Then deltoid and subscapularis are also example of multipinnate muscles. The six muscles except for teres major are muscles of rotator cuff. Then coming to muscles of arm, it consists of anterior or flexor compartment and posterior and extensor compartment which consists of triceps muscles which is supplied by radial nerve. And in anterior compartment, brachialis is hybrid muscle because it is supplied by musculocutaneous nerve as well as by radial nerve. And the action of bicep muscle is powerful supination in semi-flexed elbow. Then coming to muscles of leg, it consists of anterior compartment, lateral compartment and posterior compartment. Anterior compartment also called as extensor compartment. It consists of five muscles. And all these five muscles are also the structures passing below the extensor retinaculum along with deep peroneal nerve and anterior tibial artery. Tibial is anterior, is sling of medial longitudinal arch along with flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus. And coming to lateral compartment, which is also called as fibular or peroneal compartment, consists of peroneus longus and brevis. These both are everters of foot. 
and also the sling of lateral longitudinal arch. Then coming to posterior compartment, also called as flexor compartment, it consists of superficial and deep muscles. Superficial muscles include gastrocnemius, soleus, and plantaris. Gastrocnemius has two head, lateral and medial head, and along with soleus, it is considered as triceps suri. Then plantaris has very short belly and long tendon, so it is used for tendon grafting operation. Then coming to deep muscles, includes popliteus, which is unlocker of knee joint. Also includes flexor digitorum longus, flexor hallucis longus, and tibialis posterior, which are the structure passing below the flexor retinoculum along with tibial artery and vein and tibial nerve. Then coming to muscles of thigh, it consists of anterior compartment, medial compartment, and posterior compartment. First of all, anterior compartment. The important point to remember is, vastus medialis is inserted into medial border of the patella and it prevents the lateral displacement of patella. Muscle 2 to 5 are considered as quadratus femoris and it fuses to form ligamentum patellae. Then coming to medial or adductor compartment of thigh, you can refer nerve supply from the image. The important point to remember is, adductor magnus and pectineus are example of hybrid muscles. Then coming to posterior compartment, it includes gluteal region and back of thigh, that is hamstring muscle. The nerve supply of gluteal region is very important for neat PG. And the hamstring muscle include semi-tendinosis, semi-membranosis, long head of biceps femoris, and ischial head of adductor magnus, which is supplied by sciatic nerve. Then this slide contains some important points. Inferior gluteal nerve passes greater sciatic foramen below the pyriformis. Then gluteus medius is attached to lateral surface of greater tubercle and iliopsoas is attached to lesser tubercle. Then superior gluteal nerve also supplies tensor fascia lata. The important point to remember is sciatic nerve has no innervation in gluteus region. Then blood supply to superior and inferior gamulus is important. In inferior gamulus is only supplied by medial circumflex femoral artery but superior gamulus, inferior pudendal artery, inferior gluteal artery and superior gluteal artery. So this was the quick revision of muscles and it now supplies along with few important points. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel and also share it among your friends. Thank you.